are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. good. Um, just, you know, our first day of, of uh, physical work for Oregon State, and uh, players got a chance yesterday to look at them a little bit on film on, on their own time, and then today in a meeting room environment, I think that they have a healthy respect for Oregon State as a football team, offensively, defensively, and special teams. They're very, very sound, and uh, they play hard with a lot of passion, great technique, and uh, it, it'll be one heck of a game Saturday at the Rose Bowl. It, it will be gut grinder. It'll be the kind of game that you love to be involved with. So we're looking forward to it. How difficult is it to kind of get a good picture of them when it's week four and they've only played one game? Uh, it would be harder if they had made a lot of changes in the coaching staff, but they really haven't. Uh, Mike Riley's calling the plays, uh, yeah. but we have a, you know, we, we know Mike. Uh, but every coach is going to put wrinkles in every week. So it's really, it's more about just going out and, and executing our assignments the way they're supposed to be executed. I think that's what it usually boils down to, making tackles and making blocks and playing hard and with great effort and things like that, communicating. How much different is what they do offensively different from the first three weeks? A lot. Yeah, this is, uh, like we're going to see some real runs. You know, we're going to see some powers and some split bellies and some counters and some, some lead draws and we're going to see three tight end sets. And we're going to see four wides as well. You know, they do a lot of different things. But it's, uh, it's a lot different than what we've seen the first three weeks. So I'm excited about it. Well, it's just a good challenge for us. And, and, uh, and I think that uh, we need this right now. You know, we need to get back to some hard-nosed, gritty football on defense. It's always good to follow up a game where the ball's in the air a lot with a game where, you know, two teams are going to try to run it at you. It's all the massaging of the defensive personnel in a look at a power team as opposed to that. Does it make us move guys around? Yeah. No, yeah. not really, because it could it could influence what defenses we play. You know, uh, when you're playing a spread team, you're playing a lot more of your, your dime personnel. Um, you know, this week if they're not if they're going to three tight ends, we're not going to dime. You know, we'll stay in our in our three four stuff. No so, DBs playing linebackers. Not as much. I mean, you know, there if there's a time and a place, yes, but. Uh, in general, if they're going three tight ends, a back and one wide out, then we don't want to have them. Uh, so want, if they put big guys on the field, we want to put big guys on the field. If they put speed on the field, we want to put speed on the field. All right. Thanks.